This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review and this is the HP TX2 running Windows 7 release candidate 64-bit. Now what's interesting here is this is the TX2 that's available in stores. It's the 1020 US pre-configured model. Sells for about $1,000 to $1,100. But it's one of two notebooks on the market that have active digitizers. That means you can use the pen for precision and for pressure sensitivity in certain applications, and it has a capacitive multi-touch screen like the iPhone. The other notebook that has this is the Dell X-T2, a considerably more expensive notebook. But we're going to show you the new features in Windows 7 that make use of touch and multi-touch out of the box. It doesn't take any add-ons, it doesn't take HP Touch Smart software to make this happen. This has an Ntrig digitizer rather than a Wacom digitizer, and Ntrig is the only one currently on the market that's doing these kind of dual-purpose screens. So here we have Windows 7 running 64-bit, and as you can see, you can just touch on anything easily. Here's our website. If you want to scroll, it's very responsive. Zooming is a little jerky in the beta, but you can zoom with two fingers, similar to the iPhone. And if we click on a page to go to another page, we can see the back forward motion. If you want to go back a page, there's no need to hit the teeny little back button here with your big fat finger. You can just go that way. And it shows you a preview of the previous page. If you had several pages, it would show you a choice similar to what Nokia phones do. So that was Internet Explorer 8, which has this functionality built in just like the operating system. Let's take a look at manipulating some pictures. All pictures. Let's take the sample pictures. And here's the photo viewer. Zoom out. Zoom in. Rotate is a kind of twirling gesture. Sometimes you just do that with two hands, but it works just fine this way too. Again, no special software, no Wait. touch smart needed. And if you want to swipe through pictures, you just swipe with your finger. Well, since this is Windows 7 Ultimate, and that's what the release candidate comes as, we're going to take a look at Windows Media Center, which is included. So I'm going to move through here. It's as easy as drag slow, drag fast. Pick whatever it is you want to see and tap on anything. It's very large and finger friendly. And they've added sports. Take a look at that real quick. It automatically hides the controls. Just tap on the screen to bring them back. You can either go back one step or if you've gone several steps into an option in Windows Media Center, you can just hit Windows Media Center button right there to get back to the main menu. Again, very easy to control with the finger. And we'll take a look at Firefox 3.5 Beta, which supports Windows 7 and touchscreen features. Programs made by Microsoft, like Office 2007, also support the touch features. No need to add any additional software. To get Windows running on this with the touchscreen drivers, we installed the 64-bit release candidate, and then we downloaded the drivers from Ntrig's website. They have drivers ready right now, so if you buy one of these tablets and you want to run Windows 7, you can do that. Most of the other hardware in the machine is pretty standard, and Windows installs the proper drivers. So here again, you have scrolling. Works a little bit better in IE than it does in Firefox, but and it's got inertia, so faster you scroll, faster it moves, or you can do it very slowly. So if you're reading through it. Last thing we're going to take a look at is a program that's going to show you the multi-touch features. This supports up to four contact points simultaneously. 
So we're going to look at a touch air hockey game. And you can even have a third touch point, except for underneath the task bar. And you can even have a third touch point here. I'm kind of cheating and moving the puck around. <laughs> and I scored. So there you have that. And we'll take a look at Art Rage 2, which is a painting program that supports pressure sensitivity on the Entrake digitizer. So first we'll use the digitizer pen, it's an active digitizer, and it has palm rejection. So once it senses that you're using the pen and you see your cursor on the screen, you can rest your hand on the screen, no problem. We're going to draw a light line, and then we're going to press heavier and get a big fat line. So you can see, indeed, it does support pressure sensitivity. Unfortunately, Adobe and Entry haven't come up with a plug-in for Photoshop yet, nor is there one for Corel Painter. And we'll take a look at Windows Paint. One, two, four. Supporting multi-touch. How about text entry? Which wasn't always a whole lot of fun if you're going to use the on-screen keyboard with tablets given the small size of the on-screen keyboard. Here we're in Office 2007 Microsoft Word and you can use the pen. Here's the keyboard here. And take the pen away. Put it here with our finger. Now when you tap here it brings up the keyboard and it puts it down low so you can actually see what you're typing. And if you're thinking that's a little too small for my fingers, you can just grab the grab resize right here and make it as big as you want. Now it's just but anybody can touch type on something like that. And since this is multi-touch, you actually don't have to worry about if you get really fast at typing and you hit one key and then the other, you can actually deal with the overlapping gestures. So this is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the HP TX2 running Windows 7 release candidate, 64-bit. This is our website to read the full review and to see lots of pictures of the actual notebook.